Hello, Jeff and Derek here with A Taste for Whiskey, partnering with Indiana Liquor Group. And this is our third take on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a rough start. <laughs> so we're going to feature a, a new product uh, this week, or actually this month in our tastings. And this is the Wild Turkey Rye 101. New product, right? Uh, so I guess they couldn't get the rye that they needed to release this. So yeah. that's why they were a little slow to the rye market. Yeah, so Wild Turkey 101, it used to be pretty, you know, you used to be able to get it, and you can only get it in liter bottles, and then they're just like, yeah, you can't get it anymore. And then all of a sudden, you know, they were running low on their rice stock. So now we're able to get it in 750s, and, and uh, we don't have to buy the liter bottles anymore. Yeah, which is a lot better for tastings. Absolutely. And the best part, $24.99 for this. So any what's happening with wild turkey is pretty much anything now that's coming out of wild turkey. Everybody loves it. There a uh, lot of their master keep selections is just you know if you can find it, it goes pretty quickly. And one of them being the cornerstone rye that came out, I want to say it was a couple years ago, and that got so much reviews, so many positive reviews that it was like wild turkey's like, man, people's digging on a rye. So. What better way? You had the rare breed rye come out, which again was kind of an allocated bottle. So now, dag on, let's finally be able to get our hands on a wild turkey rye that's a little bit uh, in that right, nice proof range that we can actually get our hands on and enjoy. And twenty four ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, one hundred and one proof. Is this going to be the best bourbon you ever drink? It's not. It's not right. But that it might be. It might be, right? <laughs> but for $25, I mean, seriously, oh, this, is, this is way below. This drinks way better than its price. Absolutely. Easily, easily. So while you're nosing this, just to give you a little bit more information, this is a barely legal rye, you know, meaning that it comes in at 51% rye mash bill. And a lot of the reason for that is to pull out some of those sweet notes and not have so much spicy notes. So with this, you're gonna have 51% rye. I wanna say, what is it, 37% corn, and then we got 12% malted barley. Mm -hmm. So And they call this at least four years, right? Yep, at so, least four so years. So if you wanna go a little younger, you're you're better to go younger with a rye, because you can get away with the age. I mean, four years is fine, but a rye at four years is much better than like a weeded. Absolutely, oh, for sure. We, weeded bourbons, young weeded bourbons, you know, you, 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 you better sometimes. do it good, right? Yeah. You better do it good. <laughs> you better do it, yeah. Don't uh, screw it up. Read it. There you go. Uh, so what are you getting on the, the nose on this uh, uh, 101 wall turkey? Honestly, mm. I expected to get... It's more the candy notes it in the, is. In the I, I thought it would be more minty, but it's really... Mm. I love the nose on this. So we always say the rye, you know, predominant dill or predominant mint or kind of that predominant candy, candy bubble gum. And I think this really kind of hits more of that really nice, sweet candy notes. It, it, yes, a little bubble gum, I, but I like that. Oh yeah, I do too. This is that candy bubble gum so right now. So I'm ready to kind of dive in on this. Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. Cheers. Hmm. That's simple. Boy, that is nice. That is really good. Yeah. Now I get like a like a light mint. Mm-hmm. Get the rye. Well, I just get all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, the rye is really coming through, even though you even though it's a 51% rye, like some of the other ones, like the Woodford rye. Is going to have a little bit more bourbon, kind of a, a bourbon note to it. Yeah. Whereas this, it lets you know it's a rye. However, I feel like um, it's got those sweet notes that come through and just a little bit of the mintiness, but no dill. Mm -hmm. I don't get any dill on this, which is a good thing. I, I prefer this here with the, all the other flavors going on. I like that candy note, that spicy note that's coming through. And yeah, this is really nice. If you want to try rye and you're not sure. Absolutely. $25. It's an easy, it's a perfect place to start with the ride. Oh yeah. You're not going to lose going with this at all. And if you're not sure, go to a tasting and find out. Absolutely. Jeff will pour you a pour. Yep. It's we'll have some, we'll have some here. Folks, we look forward to seeing you this month. 
Cheers. Cheers.